am self employed mm. and i am uh, i am uh, in delhi uh, sector 14 doini okay that's nice very good thank you so much <laughs> for uh, joining so it's so nice to see a uh, wonderful uh, sadak and uh, you all have been you know a part of the session so you know in the last week we talked about conditioning we talked about sahaj bhavasan and we talked about nishpand bhav right so this was uh, basically on to the asan site which we are going to revisit today again and uh, in the next class we will be talking about uh, you know various meditation techniques so are you all set fantastic very good amazing so uh, you know it's like uh, to be honest uh, if you will see uh, this is what uh, you know the topic is all about and those who knows me and those who doesn't know me a small snippet right so just uh, you know to revisit so that's me i'm an entrepreneur international trainer executive coach I've been a creator of prism philosophy a quality professional yoga practitioner a traveler and a blogger so in the last class we talked about the conditioning sahaj bhav asana and nishpand bhav so this is what our focus is going to be in the today session right so before i start any query any question if you have okay so i see so let's start with the, you know i see there is no query question but uh, let's see the journey of uh, 200 hours tdc you know which you all have enrolled with the yoga institute it is wonderful and you know as the aim of this course is to enable uh, a very strong gain deep knowledge of uh, authentic yoga i would say which aspire to be a yoga practitioner so welcome you all so let's start the session so before we proceed we'll talk, we'll start with the conditioning right so i request everyone to please take off your specs gaze at one point and maintain the shallow breathing inhale and exhale inhale and exhale with deep inhalation close your eyes maintain the shallow breathing join your hands in namaste mudra touch your thumb to the sternum if your mind wanders bring it back to your breathing just observe your breath your breath is anapana ana is inhalation and pana is exhalation inhale the best thing around you exhale the let go attitude we'll chant prayer followed by om chanting Om Sahana Vavartu Sahano Bhunaktu Sahaviryam Karva Vahe Tejas Vina Vidhi Tamastu Ma Vidvisha Vahe All together Oh 
शांति 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 हैंड कप योर आईज ओपन द आईज इन द डार्कनेस ब्लिंक इट कपल ऑफ टाइम्स स्लाइड योर हैंड फ्रॉम द साइड गो डाउन टू द मदर अर्थ a warm welcome with a great smile thank you so much everyone beautiful smile you all have lovely okay so uh let's start and understand the conditioning right so we'll start first of all conditioning so you know it's a very unique technique uh, which has been actually pioneered by the yoga institute Uh, and use for preparedness so it's a i would say a art of preparing oneself for the right experience in the present and you know it actually helps you to withdraw of oneself from the outer world you know as well as from the inner world to attain the emotional calm so uh, for this we establish the efficiency and the quality of uh, activities that we have which we always follow and uh, when one is composed and integrated uh, one can work actually better so it is uh, you know i have seen you will yourself must have experienced that a state of balance is not easily acquired and i could hear the conversation which you all uh, students were having when we joined the session that you had tried couple of meditation techniques and you know it was a lot of distraction so just help me to understand from you all what is it that you have learnt in the conditioning from the group because we are doing the revision today yes yes sir okay. so we uh... when we start doing conditioning we train ourselves to uh, be in a position which is comfortable and calm which actually keeps our body at, uh, calm and you know uh, we don't move here and there while when we start uh, the this practice we learn to observe our breath we first observe to uh, we first try to maintain our breath uh, before even observing it so that we can be in one same rhythm for some time and that is something which is again hard for a lot of people to do because even if we sit and stand we change that rhythm so if in in one position we first tried to be in that one rhythm then uh, how to uh, focus at one point with lot of things around with lot of noises coming in and then uh, you know when we have a cli eyes closed uh i observed and i noticed if i even if my eyes is closed and i am looking at that my focus and my uh you know at the back of my mind i have that focal point in front of me i am able to be in that position for a longer time and when we chant om uh, when when we fold our hands and we chant om uh when that point is in front of me even when my eyes are closed i am able to chant for a longer time as compared to uh you know uh, if if I, if i don't look at that point so maintaining breath uh maintaining the rhythm uh be calm be composed and uh be uh, you know preparing ourselves to be free from the distractions which are around us so that we can start the new journey with a calm mind very nice thank you so much uh, you know surbi you nailed it so beautifully and you shared it very nicely so uh, just to tell you <clears throat> what should be mentioned and yes conditioning actually readies the mind you know so that we can further practice our asana pranayams kriyas and which is there and you can actually practice all this independently to calm and steady the mind now one of the very important aspect uh, to revisit again uh, for the conditioning as you have already understood how to do it and we have been doing it from very long time now but to revisit again uh, firstly uh, there is something called starting position so either you can sit in any uh, meditative posture which is like sit in sukhasan or uh, you know padmasan or ardh padmasan right and then uh, gently close your eyes so also if you are not 
uh, comfortable to sit on the floor, you can sit on the firm chair, uh, you know, in this starting element. Now, the one of the very important aspect in the conditioning is before you start, uh, once you sit in meditative posture, your, you know, your back needs to be rest or it should be in an erect mode. So this way you will see, you will keep the body above the waist straight and the spine erect, which is very, very important, you know, this part. So the steps goes like you close the eyes and passively observe the breath for five to eight minutes, right? And when you do it, you will see that you come in the present moment. You will also observe that your mind may wander, you know, to other thoughts. You, as I mentioned earlier, that our mind is just like monkey, you know. It will go to the past, it will go to the future and try to think all the things which is not required at that moment. And, you know, so it may wander, but then your task is to bring it back to your breath. Now, the important rec uh, recommendation for this is please condition yourself before you practice your asana, whether you're doing it in the morning or you're doing during the daytime or so on. So right now, when we started the session, we first started with the conditioning. It always maintained the mental state as long as possible with us. Now, we always talk about limitation and contraindication. The best part of this is there is no limitation. You know, everyone can practice this technique. It's a, it's a quiet mind receives and benefits greatly. So if I have to ask you, what was the key benefits you observed when we were practicing conditioning? Anyone? Yes, just me. It makes us calm and composed. Yeah. And we feel relaxed after doing this. And we can do our work better, whatever we are going to do. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Beautiful. Okay. Someone else? Yes, Surabhi? I mean, we feel more focused because when we start conditioning, we have something in mind why we are sitting, what we need to do after conditioning and after conditioning, uh, though our body is like calm and composed, but we, we have that focus, you know, our goal very clear hmm. and we are able to push ourselves more towards the goal after doing it. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Someone else would like to share? Yeah. And ma'am, once... Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Yes, just me. Once we inhale positivity and exhale negativity, so uh, uh, this is like this is for mental hygiene. Mm -hmm. So we are uh, trying to uh, remove that all the negativity from our mind. Lovely, very nice. Thank you so much for sharing this. Uh, so uh, you know, if you will see uh, the various benefits actually uh, you know bringing a distracted mind to attentiveness it actually reduces the extraneous thoughts uh, brings a lot of clarity you know and it enhances the performance focus and concentration so this is what uh, basically the conditioning is all about so I hope, uh, uh, so today, Khushbu, you are, this is your first session. So I hope this is clear with you now what exactly is conditioning. Lovely. Okay, so let's start with now our Sahaj Bhavasan. Okay, now before I start the Sahaj Bhavasan, I would like to know from the group what exactly is Sahaj Bhavasan? Anybody? Let me see how many of you could remember and recall. Yes. Sahaj Bhav, I felt like uh, working and exercising with our from head to toe, working with our body. And I felt like more productive for my own body mm -hmm. doing it. Very nice, beautiful. Okay. Someone else? Um, can I? Please. Um, can I? Yeah, yeah, please, please, please share. Um, no. Sahaj. Yes, Surbhi. 
Yeah, so when we combine uh, these trainings or the exercises we do in Sehajpa with the breathing, that brings more, uh, you know, awareness what we are doing and why we are doing it. So breathing technique is very important while doing Sehajpa, when we have to inhale and when we have to exhale. Hmm. Good, very good. Ma'am, these are done without any efforts. We focus on each and every body part and start stretching. It, basically, each and every part is getting stretched and moved so that we can move to further asanas and our body is ready for that. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Sonal. So, you will see, uh, you know, Sahaj Bhavasan is, we do it after the conditioning, which is basically, we warm up our body. Okay. Now, uh, very important thing before I go very deep dive into the Sahaj Bhavasan because we will be doing practical. Uh, very important here, the you know, there is something called word Bhava. Bhava is a uh, feeling or attitude, right? So it's really important that we conduct and our, you know, approach towards the practice of yoga actually leads to very deeper understanding of the higher consciousness. Now for that, uh, you will see the yogic goal of moksha. Okay, Bhavas play a very central role, very important role. And you will see that uh, the regular and repeated practice of yoga techniques with the correct Bhavas, if we use, that means the correct attitude, if we use, you will see a gross energy actually, you know, involved in you and the spiritual experience will become really, really meaningful in your life. So these uh, Bhavas are uh, Dharma, Jnana, Vairagya and Ashwarya. And you will see that when you practice this, it actually leads to a personality change, both in the subtle as well as a, at a gross level. So these four bhavas, when we say dharma, which means your duty, jnana, which is your knowledge, vairagya, which is the objectivity, and the ashvara, which is the self-reliance. So you will find that it's a very, very important aspect that whenever we are performing uh, the yoga, you know, so the dharam bhav, which is our duty, you know, so the one of the duty of doing is sehaj bhavasana. Because in Sutra 1.2, it says, the Yoga Sutra Patanjali, it says, Yoga Chitta Vritti Nirudha, okay? Uh, you're going to read and learn about this because it talks about the balanced state of mind and having a faith. So for that, it is really important that we perform the duties very well. So the Sahaj Bhavasan actually talks about a very strong element into it. Okay, so let's start. Are we all set to go? Yeah. Fantastic, lovely. Okay, so I would request all of you to please come on your mat. All right. <clears throat> So please switch off the fan, AC, wherever you are sitting. Okay. And we'll practice this while sitting today. Okay. So we will be sitting either in Vajrasan or Sukhasan. So if you are okay to sit in Sukhasan, you can do that. Or else you can sit in Vajrasan also. So first we will do the sitting. We'll start from head and then we'll go up till our shoulders and then we will stand up and then we'll do the torso and pillow. So let's start everyone. Please sit comfortably. Your spine erect. Inhale. Go up. Exhale. Center. Inhale. Head up. Exhale. Center. We'll take right now. Inhale to your right shoulder. Exhale to the center. We'll do the reverse. Inhale to your left. 
Exhale to the center. We repeat again. Inhale to right. Exhale to the center. Inhale to your left. Exhale to the center. Now we'll do the bending of our neck, right? We'll stretch our hand. Keep my right hand on the left ear. Inhale, we bend down. Exhale, center. Now, we'll do the with the left hand. Keep your hand to the right ear. Inhale, stretch your neck. Exhale, center. Repeat this again once more. Keep the hand on the left ear. Inhale, bend down your neck. Stretch your neck. Exhale, center. We repeat this again with the opposite hand. Inhale, push your head down. Exhale, center. Fantastic. Relax your hand. Now we'll do the neck rotation. We'll touch the chin to the chest. We inhale. Go back, exhale, we come to the center. We'll do four more times. Inhale, exhale. Three, four, and five. Please remember, be mindful and enjoy the Sahaj Bhavasana. Very important. We'll do with the, in the opposite direction now. Inhale, we go back. Exhale, we come in front. Two. Three. Four. And last time. Very good. Great. Now we'll do our shoulder up and down. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we will do the shoulder rotation. First, we will do clockwise five times and then anti-clockwise five times. Inhale, exhale. Two, three, four, five. Now we'll do reverse. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. Now, we will be stretching our hand. We'll take the right hand in the front, take it to the left. With the help of your left hand, stretch your hand. Two, three, release. Now, we will do with the opposite hand. Left hand up, take it to the right hand side. With your right hand, stretch. Two, Three, release. Remember, your, this helps your shoulder blades, right? Now, we will do the full rotation of our shoulder. Now, for that, I request take, you know, stretch both your hands. Make the cup with the finger. Put it on the shoulder. Join the elbow, okay? If you don't feel comfortable by joining the shoulder, you know, elbow, just be okay. We inhale, go back, exhale, we come in front and again join. We'll do it five times. One, two, three, four, five. 
Fantastic. Now we'll do reverse. One, two, three, four, and five. Very nice. And relax. Okay. So now we will do the wrist movement. Again, stretch first of all your hand and the fingers. Stretch it. Stretch all your fingers. Great. Now we'll do five times wrist rotation clockwise. Two, three, four, five. Now we'll do anti clock. One, two, three, four, five. Great. Now release the hand. Now I will request all of you to please stand on your mat. All right. So now we will do the first of all the waist rotation. So please join your legs first of all. Okay. In this one, we'll first join our feet. Okay. Five times clockwise. Two, three, four, five. Now we will do anti clock. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. Now make a one feet distance between your leg. We'll now again do the same. Five times clockwise. Two, three, four, five. We'll do anti clock. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Now we are going to stretch our whole body. Okay, so for that, <clears throat> first we'll clap our hand, put it on the head, and now stretch it, stretch your whole body, stretch your spine, and release it. Now, hold, you know, reverse the hand and stretch it with the inhalation. And release. Okay. Now again this time, we'll keep a one feet distance between our legs. We stretch ourselves again. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Exhale, we bend right. Hold the posture for three counts. Two, three. Exhale, come back. Now again, with the inhalation, we go to the left side. Two, three. Exhale, we come back. And gently release the posture. All right. Now, we are going to do the knee rotation. Keep your hands on the knee. We'll rotate five times. One, two, three. Four, five. We'll do the reverse. One, two, three, four, five. Very nice. All right. Now we'll do the stretching of our leg, keeping, you know, hold your right thigh from the shoulder, from the thighs. And now we'll do the Knee rotation. One, two, three, four, five. Second. Sorry. Yeah. Now we'll do the reverse. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Now we'll do the, you know, 
ankle flex your toes stretch your toes 2 3 4 5 now we'll do ankle rotation five times clockwise 1 2 3 4 5 we'll do anti clock 2 3 4 5 and release the posture we will repeat the same with our left leg now hold your thighs with your hands first we'll do the knee rotation five times 2 3 4 five we'll do anti clock 1 2 3 4 5 Very nice. Now we'll do with our ankle. Flex your toes. Stretch your toes five times. Two, three, four, five. Clockwise rotation of your ankle. Two, three, four, five. Anti clock. One, two, three. Four, five, very nice, and release the posture. Fantastic. Now we'll do the hip rotation. Keep your hands on the waist. So we'll do the hip rotation. First, inhale, exhale, five times. Two, three, four, five. Now we'll do the same reverse, right, and then in front. Two, three, four, five. Very nice. We'll do it with our left leg now. One, two, three, four. Five. We'll reverse. One, two, three, four, five. Great. So now we'll do the stretching of the entire body, which is one of the very very powerful Sahaj Bhavasan. Okay. So now I would request to please spread your legs three feet. Okay. Take your hands one above, one on the other. Okay. Inhale and exhale. Inhale with the exhalation. Twist your body and bend down and touch your feet. Hold the posture for three count. Two, three. With the inhalation, come up. Twist to your right on the other side now, and exhalation bend down. Hold the posture for three count. Two, three. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release the posture. Okay. So now we'll do the. Ma'am. Yes. मैम uh, जब आप इसमें लेग्स ऐसे करवाते हो तब ये सीधे ही होते हैं या फिर जैसे हम ऐसे मूवमेंट करते हैं तो ये लेग्स भी मूवमेंट करते हैं नहीं बस ही रहेंगे इस वाले पोस्ट में बिल्कुल सीधे रहेंगे हमारे ओके मैम ओके त्रिकोण आपके तक होगा या कोई उसमें हम लोग शिफ्ट करते हैं सहज में नहीं करते ठीक है ओके थैंक यू फॉर आस्किंग दिस ओके सो नाउ विल वॉक ऑन द हील एंड टो ओके So please, all of you, to come on the edge of the mat, come on the toe, and walk, ensuring your knees are straight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now go back. Same. Slowly. 
try not to bend your knees very good now we'll walk on our heels one two three four five we come back one two three four five great release the posture now we'll start doing shaking our body okay shake shake everyone shake your body very nice dance jump and jack very good just shake your body fast shake it twist right side all the hands left side all the hands just sweep just sweep shake 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 very nice lovely now stand in sthir prarthana sa join your hands in namaste mudra observe your breath and gently close your eyes feel the energy flowing in your body this is your practice your sadhana observe your breath with every inhalation take the positivity in with the every exhale make it let go Rub your hands. Generate a heat. Cup your eyes. Open the eyes in the darkness. Blink it couple of times. Gently, hands slide by your side. Bow down to the mother earth. Thank you so much, everyone. Come back. Okay. How are you feeling? Very good. Very good. Lovely. Great, ma'am. Very nice. You. Great, ma'am. Lovely. Very nice. Very nice. So, how many of you are sweating? <laughs> All of us are sweating, right? Good. So you'll be so surprised that you have already. Burned a lot of calories. Now your body is actually opened up. So this is the importance and the relevance of Sahaj Bhavasa. Great. So thank you. So I want. I want to ask one thing. Uh, while we were doing sideways stretch, when we stretched our hands upward and sideways, should we hold our breath or we can do shallow breathing? See, to start with, you please keep breath. You know, keep breathing. but uh, over a period of time you will see when we you know take our hands up when we do the stretch way we hold the breath for the count of 3 but as i have mentioned earlier we do you know yogic prana uh, rhythm of 3 6 3 
So we sometimes hold the posture for six count, but it is the practice, right? Okay. All right. Any other query question? Okay. How are you feeling, Khushbu? We are only observing you. Okay, no worries. No worries. Great. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, so this was our uh, Sahel Bhavasan. Now we will be moving towards Nishpand Bhav, right? So, Nishpand Bhav is, you know, it's a very, very good technique. Uh, you know, and uh, it's a technique for a beautiful meditation. Now what happens is, <clears throat> now most of the times, uh, you know that we are caught up between various movements, various opinions, grudges, dislikes, regrets, isn't it? So uh, what they say is that a wise man, you know, is able to relax whenever he or she wants. That's what they say. It's all in our hand. So for that, the you know, we do a relaxation. So relaxation is a very, very good for our health. And we somewhere have to find a means to let go of our fixation of the mind, uh, which is uh, there. And let the mind truly really relax and, you know, just be mindful. Now, Ni in Sanskrit word means without. And spand means movement. So that's why it says nishpand. So basically it says, you know, without movement. That's what nishpand bhav is all about. So it's a technique which is actually intended to relax the body and the mind. And uh, here we can practice this by not only relaxing our body, but also relaxing our mind, both. So this can be, uh, you know, uh, learned to let go, which we also call it Vairagya Bhav. So I talked about Bhavas, four Bhavas. So the objectivity, the Vairagya Bhava is the one which is actually helps you for this. And, uh, you know, you will experience the introspection, abstractions from the outside disturbance. Now, how do we do this? So anyone can help me before I help you out. How did we practice Nishpand Bhav? Who will help me? Yes, Sodal. I'll come to you, Manisha. Ma'am, first we sit in the erect back position we can lean against a wall but do not slouch back should be erect and legs should be wide open and hands should be in the upward facing position okay now we have to relax our mind and breathe for three to four minutes and okay. gently we have to close our eyes and observe any sound in a maybe a fan sound maybe bird chirping any sound but you should not be uh if it's fade away, we can uh, hold an, another sound. Hmm. Then we have to sit in this position for at least 10 to 15 minutes and observe that sound and do the breathing and observe it also. And keep your mind relaxed. You will be calm and composed and in a relaxed state. Then gently open your eyes and do the conditioning. Very good. Very nice. Yes, Manisha, you had some point to share. Ma'am, same way. Like we have to basically focus first on our breathing and focus on the external voices and getting detached from the all the voices. We are basically meditating. You know, it is a meditative posture, relaxing the body as well as mind. Very nice. Great. So, uh, rightly said, uh, how do we do the Nishpand Bhav? Basically, we sit on a couch or a, you know, a bed or on a yoga mat, uh, you know, uh, with the help of ball. 
and we take we actually lean back on the wall for a support and the hip must touch the wall okay the legs are comfortably stretched out okay and there is a minor split between the legs the spine must remain relaxed but erect that's very very important and then with the support of your wall the hip is thrust again the wall from the below now you rest the lower arm on the thigh by keeping the palm facing upward okay so ensure that your palm and fingers both are relaxed okay now when you secure a comfortable position okay so in this what you do is you will slowly close your eyes you take the mind to any fading sound one you can hear so do not let the mind stick to the sound as rightly said it you know you need to observe it passively and as they fade out slowly in the distance on their own you know let it happen so in the case of natural sound which are not present one can actually play a very some very good music you know in an electronic device uh sometimes a singing bowl or a, you know bell uh even uh, if you're not uh, having a natural sound or let's say even uh, you know if you hear the fan sound or a, you know a flipping of the paper is very important to observe that's the main funda now the sound of the spoken word should never be used while lishpan bhav please remember this because the words can actually evocate emotions and other kind of reactions in the mind so that's why we don't uh, you know encourage that do not get attached to any of the sound like the train of the mind to observe them passively that's really important and we can sit for a minimum of 5 minutes to the maximum of 15 minutes to see the and receive the benefits out of it now the beauty of nishpand bhav is that there is no contraindication and the limitation you, anybody can be you know anyone can do it and uh, it's just that you have to sit in the comfortable posture so this is what is the nishpand bhav is all about so uh, anybody who did it uh, during the weekend this uh, nishpand bhav Okay, Sonal, you did it. How was your experience, Sonal? It was nice, but I need more time to do it. I need more mind time to relax my mind and keep it from distraction. It got distracted easily. Hmm. Okay. But I tried. But that's nice. It's very nice that you tried. Beautiful. Okay. Someone else? Yes, just. Uh, what is the purpose of? Uh... that gap between your feet like for uh, like a 2 to 3 feet oh. because when i was doing this practice so i wanted to change my posture hmm okay now what happens is uh, the body is really relaxed see i mean i'll tell you please try to sit when your legs are together and when your legs are parted you will see the comfort and the relaxation when your legs are parted so that's the main reason and the energy gets flowed very comfortably you are not restricting yourself by this see when we were doing sahaj bhavasan and uh, you know the hip rotation i tell you to do two times one is when your feet are joined and when your feet are separate you must have observed the difference the experience has to be seen right that's the main reason so we want your body to be very very comfortable and relaxed that's the real reason okay right thank you welcome yes surbhi you were saying something yes uh, ma'am i also try doing it on both the days saturday sunday and uh, even monday i was not able to hold for more than 10 to 11 minutes uh, you know i was not able to sit in that position for 10 to 12 minutes not because of the discomfort but because uh there were so many things that came in my mind different types of sounds and it kind of created a headache okay. so after 11 12 minutes i you know opened my eyes and i sipped uh, took a sip of water so maybe i'll take time but 
you know uh, that headache i i felt no, I, i can actually understand you know basically it's uh, we must train uh, you know the senses to accept and uh, equally to enjoy the any sound which is there and sometimes let's say there is a very screechy sound okay uh, when let's presume a vehicle tire is getting you know halted so there is a very uh, screechy sound which can make you feel you know irritated or sometimes you know uh, even a sweet singing bird uh, on the tree nearby it can makes you feel amazing even sometimes you will see the kids playing outside uh, i've seen some people getting disturbed with the kids sleep and some people are getting you know actually cherishing the uh, you know kids the kids. yeah exactly so it's like uh, one can remain you know conscious of all the sounds buzzing around oneself so you were doing trying to do that uh, but at the same time without getting affected by them yeah because is it like because i was trying to focus on a sound a particular sound that's the reason uh, you know uh, i i experienced that headache i i think that's the reason yes because i was trying to focus mm. on, on that sound yes it's like you know if i would say these sounds fails to extract any internal or you know external re- reaction from one self and if one is able to maintain a physical mental and emotional calm uh during all such chaos that means you are really practicing nishpandha uh otherwise right now you were uh, actually forcing yourself and because of that the stress went up and you got headache but it will come with the practice you know even as i mentioned when i started this journey honestly i as i told you i was uh, i got nausea attack i was uh, you know uh, i vomited uh, in my uh, nishpan bhav uh, practice so it took me good uh, 15 days to work on it so it's absolutely okay don't worry ma'am i want to add on one thing this sweetie uh, actually i am very bad in focusing on anything okay so i was doing nishpan bhav that day on saturday evening so i was so distracted with other things so i started chanting gayatri mantra inside so that really helped me for some for few seconds very nice see end of the day you should be feeling comfortable that's important correct yeah so that's how it is so uh, <clears throat> see over a period of time when you will start practicing this you will see the you will uh, inculcate the attitude of disinterestedness non attachment letting go you know the vairagya bhav what we call it uh, and the reasons behind one pain suffering you know you will understand so uh, you will see the practitioner of this relaxation technique actually experiences uh, vanishing of the body awareness which heals the body better you know there is a saying that let's say if you are having a you know any injury in your uh, body if you have a deep sleep you heal better this is exactly what happens with this relaxation technique and you will improve the overall efficiency of the body by improving your heart lungs uh, muscles nervous system and the best part about this nishpand bhav is it's a preparatory technique for meditation shavasan you know dandasan makarasan so this you will see how beneficial it will become once you will start practicing it and uh, uh, another thing as i mentioned you know this actually technique induces abstraction of the senses and it prepares uh, one for the uh, higher pratyahar practice you know as we are practicing ashtanga yoga so pratyahar is the mid point you know it's yam niyam asan pranayam pratyahar you know then we go to dharana dhyan samadhi so you will see the significant part of the uh, you know yoga practitioner this is a uh, uh, you know a technique which come under yoga for curbing uh, you know i would say a vertigo and it helps relieve the symptom of vertigo very very effectively so people who are suffering with vertigo nishpan bhav is very very good practice for them so these are the some uh, 
you know benefits and uh, advantage of nishpantha right so are we ready to practice this great so i would request to please uh, uh, sit on the you know bed or on the couch or on the yoga mat nice khushboo if you want you can try this today this is something very easy you can be very comfortable and then you can practice this right? okay now very nice prachi good great manisha superb sonal right so now observe your breath inhale and exhale inhale and exhale gently close your eyes and observe the natural sound around you
Bring the awareness to your legs, to your hands. Join your hands in Namaste Mudra. Rub your hands. Cup your eyes. Slowly open your eyes in the darkness. Gently slide your hand by the side. Welcome back. How are you feeling? Who's going to share the experience? In first moment, I had congestion of nerves here at the left side. Mm -hmm. And after a few seconds, I was feeling something is releasing from here. Then it goes to my feet. It became a little heavy. Then I felt on my palms that it became heavy. That was experience. <laughs> Very nice. Very good. Thank you so much for sharing this, uh, sweetie. Okay. Yes, Sonal. Ma'am, it was very much better than the earlier experience. I feel so relaxed. And this time I was more focused than the earlier sessions I tried. Mm. It's really good. Amazing. Very nice. Yes, Jasmine. I uh, request you to please unmute yourself. Yeah, ma'am. Hmm. Uh, same was like, you know, last time as my mind was wandering here and there a lot, but this time it was more focused and uh, I was observing sound and there was no other sound to distract. So there was only a uh, fan sound. But one thing I was uh, to ask you, uh, uh, like when, when I sit and pray, my mind wanders a lot, you know, my mind is never there. And after five, 10 minutes, I realized that my mind is somewhere else. So I think these conditioning and this uh, Nispanda practice would help me to control my mind. Yes, this is all you only have to practice, you know. So just start observing the breath. That's why we say, you know. But then it's like, I think it's the seventh class, uh, so, you know, so it's like slowly and gradually you will see the difference. We have a long journey to complete. But right. yeah, don't worry. It's a, it's a journey to be experienced and to be practiced. Right? Thank you so much for sharing this meet. Uh, someone else? Yes, Surubi. I went in deep sleep. Wow. And when I, uh, when you gave the instructions, that's when I woke up. Then, last time I, even yesterday, day before, I couldn't, maybe because I consciously knew we guys were doing it. So that maybe that's the reason, but. So imagine <clears throat> when we started the session, when we were talking and you mentioned that you had a headache, right? Yes. And today you are saying that you... Maybe because, uh, you know, I had that, you know, in my mind consciously I wanted to do this or maybe because I knew I am sitting in the class and uh, maybe that's the reason I was, you know, I, I, I slept for... I slept in like three, four minutes only. <laughs> nice. Good. Don't worry. It's okay. Absolutely okay. Wonderful. Thanks for sharing. All right. Okay, uh, someone else? Yes, Anju. Uh, Ma'am, last time se kaafi acha hua hai. Acha? Kaisa lag raha hai aaj aapko? Ma'am, kaafi acha lag raha hai pehle se. Okay, aur agar aap apna experience share kar sakte ho, jo pehle tha aur aaj mein kya farak laga aapko? Uh, Ma'am, last time to just rain, uh, just a fan pe uh, tha dhan, lekin thodi si time baad rain a gayi thi, to uspe dhan, lekin aaj aisa nahi hua, uh, sirf fan pe hi continuously dhan tha, bilkul. Uh, koi aisa distraction nahi hua mujhe, 
बिल्कुल टेन मिनट तक तो बिल्कुल फैन की ही आवाज आ रही थी मुझे एक छोटी सी चीज बोला था की वॉल के मतलब होना है की आपके हिप्स आपके वॉल पे टच हो एक ये छोटी सी चीज ने मैम बहुत फर्क दिया मुझे लास्ट टाइम और आज का बहुत बढ़िया वेरी गुड सो दैट्स द रेलेवेंस एंड इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ यू नो अंडरस्टैंडिंग द इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड अप्लाइंग दैट इंस्ट्रक्शन सो वेरी गुड सो ग्रेट दैट्स नाइस सो ना लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड यू नो वी टॉक्ड अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थ्री आस्पेक्ट टूडे वी स्टार्टेड विथ कंडीशनिंग वी देन मूव टूवर्ड्स सहज भाव आसन एंड देन टूवर्ड्स निष्पंद भाव the journey will again grow further you know so that's really uh, we have to experience and i will only say that uh, yeah this is a nishpan bhav session so abhi aapne jo ye part karwaya ye nishpan bhav nishpan bhav so isme means ye meditation type se hai haan ji bilkul bilkul one of the type of meditation aur usse pehle jo tha wo kya tha वो था सहज भाव आसन सहज भाव आसन शुरू करने से पहले करते हैं और आसन लाइक अ वार्म अप वार्म अप वेरी नाइस ठीक है सो दिस सेशन वाज बेस्ड ऑन दिस अभी हम लोग जब नेक्स्ट सेशन में मिलेंगे सेवन पी एम पे एट दैट टाइम वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट यू नो अदर टेक्निक्स वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट आहार विहार आचार विचार you know av av of yoga we will be also talking about reflection jo ki humne last session mein kiya hai so usse aapko pata chal jayega ki humne kya kya cover kar liya hai abhi tak so it's a revisit theek hai all right and we have to learn each and everything and in the, for the next class yes so we are practicing all this thing slowly and gradually great thank you khushbu all right so uh, before we close the session uh, any query any question great all right so now i would request all of you to will close this with our uh, prayer so request everyone to please remove the specs gaze at one point shoulder roll back your back erect hands you know up on the ceiling facing towards the ceiling keep observing oblique gaze up point and maintain the shallow breathing inhale and exhale with the deep inhalation gently close your eyes join your hand in anjani mudra thumb touching your sternum observe the breath try to remember all the practice we learn today we started with conditioning we understood how it's to be practiced with its limitation and contradiction and the benefits followed by sahaj bhavasan we practice sahaj bhavasan while sitting focusing towards our head neck shoulder wrist and then in the standing we touched the torso part 
the legs, ankle, finally the whole body stretching. Our last session was on the meditation technique Nishpandha. We learned about its entire technique with the limitation and contraindication and the benefits. Maintain the breath. Inhale and exhale. We'll chant Om once with a deep inhalation. Oh. Rub your hands, cup your eyes, feel the warmthness. Blink your eyes a couple of times, slide the hands by your side. Go down to the motherhood. Thank you to everyone. With the Thank gentleman. you, ma'am. Thank you Thank so you, much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you ma'am. Ma'am, we did a refl reflection in this way. Yes. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> okay. Thank you so very much. We'll see you at 7 p.m., right? Okay. Okay. Bye. Take care. Bye. Namaste, everyone. Namaste.